Alisa, it's so great to see you. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Listen, I love this film so much. Your performance is absolutely incredible. I've seen it twice already and it's just absolutely oh, gorgeous. Thank I you. Yeah, I love it as a story about love and fear and courage, but it's also a love letter to the arts and dancing and expressing yourself in a different way. And when you were filming, when did you really start feeling the difference between Melissa's dancing and Carmen's dancing? What moment did you really feel like you had become Carmen entirely, body and soul in a way? Um, during the Dance of the Desert, which is the dance that she that Carmen does with the five women in the desert. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that, that moment I kind of, I was very nervous about that dance. First of all, because it was long and I was, and I wasn't partnering with anyone. So I, it was like me by myself in the middle of like these five professional dancers, like some of the best dancers in Australia were around me. And I was just mortified because I was like, how am I going to, I'm so, Carmen is supposed to be like the best, you know, she's supposed to be like this, like incredible dancer. And I'm like dancing with the best dancers. I was just like, so worried. Um, and that day it was raining like crazy. So we had to like wait and wait and wait. And I was just a nervous wreck in my trailer, like, oh my God. And I was warming up and then getting cold because we couldn't shoot. Like it was just a lot of things. And I think when we finally got to shoot, it was like super late. It was probably like, two or three a.m. and we didn't have a lot of time left and it was going to be a one -er, so no cuts like the camera was just going to like find and, and move with us so no hiding right no hiding and if you mess it up it's going to be there and I had like an out of body experience I don't know I kind of left my body and I don't know how it happened but um when Benjamin yelled cut he like run over to me and he was like how did you do that? And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? He was like, you were flying. That, that was incredible. I was like, oh my God, and I almost cried because I was like, oh, thank God. I've been so nervous about this number, but something just kind of clicked in that moment. And I don't even remember what I did. And I think those are the moments as an actor that you always chase, like you wish mm. you could yeah. always just like be so present that you're out of it. Um, and it doesn't always happen, but in that moment, it happened yeah. for me. You had an out-of-body experience doing it. I had an out-of-body experience just watching it, so I can't even imagine. <laughs> um, in watching this film, you know, I feel like the dance sequences, as you said, just must be very hard to shoot because, you know, you need so much training and practice. But I also feel like the story in itself deals with so many hard topics, you know? And for you, what was the hardest scene or shot to make that you maybe didn't realize would take so much effort while reading the script? Oh, good question. Um... I think the there was a scene that it didn't I, the, the the movie ended up changing so much, mm. um, but um, but there was a scene the scene in the after the party you know there's we have like like a party celebration and then and then Paul and I are in the room and we're kind of like right. in silence and it's a wide shot yeah. and. Uh, and it's like one of the few times that the characters talk, you know, and and we didn't really know what was going to be said in that in that mm. scene. And so we locked ourselves in a room, Ben, Paul and I, and for like a good hour, we were trying to figure out what needed to be said in that scene. And um, it's literally like two lines, mm. but it was so hard mm. to find the right thing for each of us to say right. yeah because it's such a like a pivotal moment for them as a you know together and and i think that that was a hard scene even though it seems like you you watch it and you're like oh that was so simple you know they're just like there it's a wide shot they each say a line and that's it but it took us a really long time to to find exactly mm -hmm. what we needed to say and it works perfectly in the story and I love how you always like break the fourth wall in a way looking directly at the camera and just connecting with us thank you so much for joining me today Melissa there giving me the wrap I have so many questions for you but just just you know I love this film so so much you are just absolutely amazing in this film thank you thank you so much it really means a lot thank you oh thank you so much so much